welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and this is your monthly horoscope forecast for the sign of Virgo for the month of March 2018. So how are all of you Virgos doing out there? The first thing that I want to do is to go ahead and give, start off on a personal note um, with my channel because a lot of you are new subscribers and a lot of you that may be tuning into this video for the first time may be a new subscriber. So without, um, you know, without going into too much details, I just wanted to explain the horoscope videos that I do. Now they're all written by me. Um, they're all personalized and I give 110% on my horoscope horoscope videos. They are more general in nature. They're not like a private reading or very detailed um, because again there's no way to have one horoscope video that would apply to every single person um, in the world you know that is under the sign of Virgo because you know everybody is going through different variables there's different factors in their life so it kind of would be impossible to do that. Um, so these are general in nature but um, you know, kind of keep an open mind when you're looking at this. Um, and if it doesn't apply yet, you know, hold on to it. And if it doesn't apply, that's fine. You know, there's always next month. But if this is the reason that, you know, for those of you that are asking me, because I get a lot of questions sometimes, hey, Raymond, you know, this doesn't, this horoscope video didn't apply to me and I just don't understand why. And that would be the reason why. So if it doesn't apply now, you know. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your horoscope video for the month of March and see what's in store for you. So for this month of March, Virgo, you're going to be finding at the beginning of the month you're dealing with someone who is making false promises to you um, this could be a partner um, someone that you maybe you've been invested in a relationship and maybe you have gotten to the point of engagement on uh, you know a commitment on a more broader level but it's not marriage something that's long-term and you're seeking more something that's more fruitful something that's more solid and so the partner that you're with right now could have a lot of insecurities about that or there just could be on two different y'all could both be on two different pages or two different um you know roads right now two different paths and so it's kind of like a time of reflection a lot of you this month will be asking yourself you know am i in the right relationship am i you know what is causing my partner not to really want to marry me or why are they just wanting to be engaged and y'all been engaged for six to eight uh, years you know and you know there's a lot of situations like that and it could be you know just their ideals or principles on the thoughts of marriage is because of what they saw in their own family you know or they could just feel like you know you all been together so long why have to get married uh, and have it on a piece of paper it's all the same but you will be finding that there are some things that they're dealing with and even yourself to be mindful if you're making some promises to be sure to keep your word because that is that falls under your character and your integrity and you know, you are known to be someone who cares and that responds to, you know, keeping their word. And so right now, the last thing that you want to do is kind of um, fall back on your word or a promise that you're making because um, ultimately it could end a relationship. It could end a friendship. It could end some part of your life that um, is very important to you. And, you know, you just want to stay kind of really focused on that. Um, also, you could be finding that there is someone right now who is compulsively lying. Um, I'm sorry for that background noise. Um, it's compulsively lying. Um, they're not, you know, really telling the truth. They are, you know, just being oblivious to the fact that you can see through it. Because a lot of you out there that are Virgos are very much an empath, very much aware of, you know, the energy that surrounds you. And so this month, it's going to be something where, you know, if they are lying to you, you're going to pick up on it. You're going to know that they're doing it. And it's something they just cannot hide. So um, for those of you that are you know picking up on this is going to be something where you kind of really need to ask yourself is this person trustworthy how much information are you divulging to this person um when i say information being divulged basically how much information are you giving them about your personal life this could be someone in your workplace as well that you've trusted or you know they've kind of shared a lot about your you know their life to you but maybe only certain aspects of their life and you're coming to find out that you know they were only sharing certain things about you and leaving certain things out and so this is going to be the kind of thing that you don't want to open yourself up to to be vulnerable um, to a lot of people that you don't know very well because they can use that later on against you and it's a very sad situation that some people vibrate on that level and that would really take um, to the you know the fact of doing this to you but um, you know 
some people are like that you can't change it you at the end of the day you only have control over yourself and your own actions so um this is something really to take to note um going into the middle of the month um now also like i said i mentioned work already um around your work life there's a lot of nervous energy you could be finding that the um, you know you've had years at this place you have enjoyed it but now you all of a sudden you know there's new maybe management there's new employees the people that you used to vibe with very well as co-workers are no longer there there's no cohesiveness to the the work structure maybe people are not adhering to policies and they're just running amok and doing anything and everything that you know that they want to do and it's causing delays it's causing you to work harder it's causing stress um overall in the work environment if you're surrounded by a lot of um vamp energy vampires or people who are very much draining and you find that you're coming out of work tired more tired than you would be when you go in um then this is going to be a clear sign that there are some energy vampires going on in your work especially if you're doing the same kind of work and you know what you're doing and it's nothing different and you've been doing it for so long and you have it down to a certain level but yet you know there's someone around you and then you come out of work and you feel better you know than when you're in work um this is a sign that there's maybe some kind of energy vampire around so you would benefit from having some black tourmaline crystals um you could you have a tumbled stone have it in the form of a pendant in the form of an uh, a ring kind of have this on you or some black obsidian um there's just a lot of different protective crystals lapis lazuli um citrine you know is an overall good one for abundance uh so there's different kind of stones kind of go to a crystal shop or go online and whichever crystal you feel that really it vibrates or resonates with you should be the one that you really go with but for the most part you know i really feel like black tourmaline is a universal kind of stone protective stone against energy vampires and around negative energy so you would really benefit from that um and like i said it's just going to be a lot of focus this month on your career um, and you know the other aspects that I didn't mention so uh, I want to thank you for tuning in if you did like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel hit that uh, red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of this video so that you can be notified of any future videos that I am publishing now um, for those of you that are tuning into this in the month of February um, and are wanting a private reading with me all of the readings uh, that I have on my website are on sale the entire month of February so the 28th of February is the last day of the cell. So if you're tuning into this in the month of February to this video for March horoscopes um, and you'd like to set up a private reading, just go to my website and that link will be listed in the description box below. Other than that, have an amazing month ahead. Blessings and love and light to all. Give me in the